Hello and welcome back. Golden Empress Collection here with your reading for February, Taurus. Um, I did a pre-card shuffle for you guys and I think that you've been dealing with some betrayal and love and it's just not fair. It's not right. And I think that whoever you have been dealing with has really, really done something inconsiderate to you. Taurus, this is not meant for you to have to struggle with this energy, okay? Um, I Because this is the Three of Swords here, they possibly put you into a third-party energy, or this is a third-party energy that sits on this person. You care about this person so, so much. I know you do, and that's why it makes it hard. That's why it makes it hard that, you know, it comes off as that this person makes you cry, makes you feel disrespected, or at least they did in the past. Let's see what else we have for my Tauruses here. Queen of Swords, yeah, because you cut them off. This is your present energy. What else do we need to know for my Tauruses? And then we'll take a look at your other person. Thank you. You're so strong. You're beautiful. You, hey, listen, there's something about deceitful energy here. I'm hearing the words deceit, okay, Taurus? And you figured it out. You're in control. I feel like you may have cussed this person clean out for the things that they've been doing, especially if they're out here. And I just heard hoe cake in it. <laughs> so if they're out here doing hoe cake stuff, this is an energy for you to finally step into your power and take control. Um, I feel like you understand what type of person you want to deal with and you're not going to allow anyone to come in here and cause you any more pain. So tell me about this Saturn energy that sits on this Three of Swords. So you have a Four of Swords. So there's definitely clarity. This was a, with the Libra energy, it was a truth that had to come out so that everything could be balanced out and fair so that you could be, I don't know, it's not a loving energy, but it's a self-reflection of how everything needed to go. You actually had to make some sort of an emotional choice here. And again, we do have two divine feminines, so there could be just the clarity that something had to end, even if you do care about somebody because you found this truth out. There was a manifestation here. This was manifested possibly a long time ago. Yeah, this person was trying to, oh, I'm so sorry, see? See how it kind of became a messy situation and then I went to grab another deck and I actually bumped into you? That's what happened with this person. And I, because it's funny, because I'm thinking to myself about being in the store with this. You know, like you push the cart, you go through the store. Somebody is physically at the store, and while they're there, this lie comes out. Because you have the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords here. There's a lie that comes out, and some the other woman is seen here. The other woman is seen with the male, the masculine in this energy. That's what this painful energy was for you, Taurus. You were out and about. You could have even been taking care of this particular person. And I think you asked God to show you the truth. I think you asked somebody. And if not, there's a Virgo energy here that just helped you to see the bitter truth about what you were dealing with. Because they needed you to be able to assist yourself and make something different than what was really going on. Yeah, it, like, you need to know the truth. I feel like this person is about to catch karma because this is the deck that came out. With all of this Three of Swords, Four of Swords energy that this person put you in, you had to turn your heart off. And so now this person is going to catch karma because of the things that they did to you. It's almost a you reap what you sow type of energy. So show me Taurus's other person. Give me three cards for Taurus's other person, please. The Eight of Pentacles. Virgo energy again. Courting. That's the Lover's card. Eight of Pentacles. The Lover's. What else for Taurus's other person, please? The vibration of this. You know, this is calculated. Oh, it's very calculated because now Capricorn came out. Um, Taurus, it, this is someone that is like you. Not exactly like you, but this is someone who definitely mirrors your energy because you are holding a vibration, and I'm going to say the page of coins, where you're still learning about something here. You're still learning about this person. I know you have plans and you are going to step in full force to do something, I'm thinking, nice for yourself here. So this person better watch out because they were supposed to be committed and they let obsession come in here and bother the, the position that they were supposed to be carrying. They were supposed to be offering stability, loyalty, 
um, monogamy is what I'm hearing. And it's like, I see you, Taurus, saying to them, either just mouthing the word or saying it to where you stress the syllables, monogamy. Like, do you not know what that is? So I, I feel like your patience runs thin right here in present energy. And you know, you care about this person, but you, oof, you let them know. You let them have it with this devil card over here. So it could be that they're upset now. Could be that they're upset. Let's see. I just, you know what's funny is, I feel like one of, this is a, a feminine, masculine type of energy. I, I do see the difference between the two. I see someone who is submissive here and I see someone who is dominant. The submissive individual sits in your energy, Taurus. So what this but the thing is is that you end up turning into this lion energy that takes full charge of this whole situation and says no this is how it's going to be so it's you honoring both sides of yourself but this person having to learn and get things in under control when it comes to their demonic side yeah see you can't make this up what's this oh okay i'm not even sure how i want to read this so the fact that this deception came out here, the Seven of Swords, it is upside down. This person cannot and will not any longer get away with whatever it was that they thought they were going to get away with. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. And they know it. Because you have the Tower moment here that's also in the reverse. They can't get away with it anymore. There's nothing that they should be expecting to happen. Whatever it was that they wanted to be deceptive about, it's not happening anymore. This soulmate contract, tell me about this soulmate contract with this person. I, this person is looking for some sort of payment or they have to make some sort of payment. There might be a car involved here, but it, there's you, right? There's you. Learning your lesson, teaching this person a lesson about possibly the third party energy that's coming in here and how this is going to take a while and be patient. You taught this person a lesson and it pisses them off that you educated them like this and they can no longer get away with whatever it was that they were doing. You busted this person. Hella busted is what I'm gonna say. You know, and the fact that this person, you know, the, the fact that it's like marriage here, but with this energy around it, it's almost like somebody expected for you to find out about this other person and to text this other person and to, you know, make this offer or just to reveal that they were texting a different individual here. Okay, listen to me. I will tell you this though. This person does not give a damn that you know about the fact that there's someone else. They don't care. They want you and they plan on coming back in here and saying no. It, like I said, this is a very dominant type of individual here who has to take power over you, but they can't anymore because the delusion that they were putting out here, that they had worked so hard to keep, now has crumbled because of this manifestation that's gone on. Yep, see, something that you planned, Taurus, Taurus, you planned to expose this particular person. You did, and you did it. I feel like they even told on themselves. You guys must have watched one of my other um, videos where I told you how to do the truth spell because it's real. That truth spell is real in this energy. Ooh, ooh. I'm seeing a clingy energy here as well, Taurus. And they don't expect you to go anywhere. They expect you to stay. I promise you they expect you to stay. They do. And it's it's almost like a villain type of energy. I see why. The, I think the Disney deck just came out. It did. Look, Five of Swords. Manipulation. This person's coming for you. This person is coming for you. They have a design, a master plan here. Because you'll notice that this is your energy, but your energy is one that's supposed to be positive. I was going to clarify this energy here. I, actually, I think I will. Because Taurus, this person deserves to be handled by you. Yeah, see, and this is you taking action and whatever it is. <laughs> I, you guys are, are classic because you could be doing the Shawshank here. And th this lesson that you're teaching them that's going to make them mad exposes everything about them. And it could affect their money or their finances with someone else as well. Other persons that they had waiting for them. So if they were trying to keep you as an option and treat you like a third party, 
Oh, you destroyed any other opportunities that they had. You destroyed it. I don't know if it's social media, but with that five of swords we saw, it could be through social media. See, you've got the eight of coins again, and now you got the seven of swords. You can't make it up, see? Eight of coins and seven of swords, but now this is right side up in your energy. You're telling the truth and cutting all this off. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're like, okay, you want to work on being deceptive? Let me show you what I think about this deceptive work. Because this person's toxicity is done. Their career is done. Everything that this person has done to manifest some sort of prosperity, especially if it's over someone else and they used other people to harm other people, you know, like child labor, whatever this is, they're getting caught. Bottom of the deck, you have temperance energy. Spirit has divinely said, we are taking control of this. The divine gave you the opportunity to expose this person the way that you're going to be able to do it. See? Because they made a choice here. They made a choice when it came to true love. God chose you to handle whatever this deceptive energy is that's here that's growing. It's, it's almost like a mold in a way. I, for some of you guys, it's almost like mold. Whatever it is that this person consistently does, it's a, it's a constant growth. A constant growth. And you know that whatever it is that they keep trying to work on, whatever this commitment was, let me go on ahead and just shank you now, Shawshank you style, and cut this off. You know? You know? <laughs> so funny, because I feel like this person comes to you with a list of demands, you know, of things that you did wrong, and you're going to say, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, they're going to try to hold something against you. They're going to try to keep that shine away from you. It's unfortunate. Because they're jealous of you. You know, what's so funny is they try to make you seem like you're jealous. You know, trying to put an end to your nice streak and turning you into someone who's constantly working and trying to betray them because of, you know, the things that have been manifested here. See, now this is the true form coming out here. The true form, this nine of cups. So this person's opportunity to be deceptive, to be envious here, mm -mm, to win at all costs. And it could be you. You might even be lying on this person, you know, trying to make sure you win at all costs. Hold on. Let me see. What happens? Taurus. Four of cups. Yeah. You're going to rise above and beyond. Seven of coins. Spirit, is, spirit knows that you are disgruntled. But the thing is, is even though you're disgruntled and your heart's been broken here, Taurus, you're still able to be very patient, okay? You don't want to be led in the wrong direction. You don't want to be harmed. You want to listen to what the divine is telling you with the temperance energy that we saw. The opportunity for you to make brand new plans, you need to stay in the light. This person is already in the dark. So focusing on their energy is actually going to harm you. Spirit is talking to you about what you're going to be manifesting. You need to reject the negativity and the theft, the thievery, the, just the person who was toxic and lying. And by cutting them off, the work that you can do is now going to be healing all of this energy that's over here. Because it was probably more than once that you figured out that this person was lying to you. See the seven of coins? It was more than once. You know, and it's so crazy is I feel like at a certain point, this person's lies started mixing together. They started mixing together. Tell me how this person gets exposed. How does this person get exposed? Taurus, what is, tell me about the seven of swords in the reverse with the ace of pentacles and the tower card in the reverse. It was just a matter of time. And you, you plotted this, whatever it is, you're going to plot it. They're going to walk right on into it, too. It's a tower moment for them. Yeah, see, seven of wands. How did you expose this person? Well, it was definitely a manifestation. It took a while. You possibly traveled to have to go and do it. Mm-hmm, three of coins. You traveled to go to have to do it. Whatever it is that you did to expose this person. But you did it beautifully. You, you also had someone else help you that's why i said i think social media might be involved with this yeah and eight of cups so i feel like while this person was kind of out and about being player mode here you had a third party assist you 
to see if this person would take the opportunity and take advantage of somebody. See if they would, you know, say, hey, baby, can I text you later? Can I get your digits? Can I get your number? Right? Yep. King of Wands. That's what he did. I promise you. Knight of Coins. And you sat around and you waited. You sat around and you waited. And for some of you guys, you guys did this to the point where it was a blind date type of thing. You texted with this person. You possibly had someone give them a fake number. You've been texting with this person. They thought it was you or they thought it was the person they met and you show up for the blind date. How about that shit? Sugar, honey, iced tea. Wow. I think that's your revenge. I, I just, some of you guys, this is going to be classic. So I don't know how far you really want to put energy into this, but that's exactly how they get exposed. Exactly how they get exposed. And this is someone who just had a very awkward vibration. Yeah. Look at that. Trying to, trying to hook up with somebody else, not realizing it's you on the other end. You set this person up for big failure. If you guys are married to this person, you're letting them know that you're cutting them off and you are planning um, on rejecting any sort of, of opportunity is for them to come in here. You're on the defense now. Spirit is telling you to protect yourself because this person, they already know. I'm telling you. They couldn't get away with taking advantage of you. And now they're going to try to say, oh, let's work this relationship out. Don't let the deception come in here. You already see it, and you're cutting it off. Rejection. No, thank you. Kind of like box to the left. Everything you own in the box to the left. Yep, in the closet. That's my stuff. If I bought it, please don't touch. And they are stressed about it. Freaking out, trying to see if they can talk to you to work it out with you. See, but they should have thought about it before they tried to come in with that old sneaky plan to hypnotize you and make you think that you know the d was the bomb no you got a player on your hands here truly a player on your hands and they are coming in to talk to you even though it's over you need to successfully end this and move forward you do i promise you do this person wants to talk to you about money too three of pentacles again there's something that they're saying that they need help with and assistance with oh baby just don't fall for the okie doke he's gonna be all sweet okay he's gonna be caring and charismatic but for some of you guys the, you gotta remember what time of year it is it's tax season sunshine so that means there's money floating around and they could possibly any end up anywhere with five hundred to three thousand dollars in their pocket if they say that they care and they do this and they do that let this person stay out of your pocketbook and out of your bank account. Not a word about what you're doing with your finances should go to this person. I don't care if you're married or not because there's separation here on your mind. And when you are thinking that you need to get away from somebody that says that they care about you and that they love you, but Spirit's telling you that you need to be rejecting this because you know that they're false, you know that there's lies here, Keep your business to yourself with this paperwork, okay? They're going to delay, they will delay you if you don't, okay? Keep that to yourself. Let them do their own thing. They're stressed because they know that you possibly have the opportunity to move into something different. Um, and you're not going to play around. Do you know, and what's crazy is this person, the one that you caught them with, they're still talking to them. They're still talking to them. And this person does not take responsibility for the things that they have created here. They're trying to work on both relationships. They are. Take advantage of you. See if they can work it out like it's not a big deal. But knowing full source that there's a relationship that really is blown out of proportion and out of hand now. Yeah, that's interesting. Let me give, give me two more on this other person here. So give me two more. Because this person is definitely going to try to come back in here and test your gangster. I already know they are. Two more for this person over here. With the th Yeah, see, look, they have the rejection energy here. 
There's still more. This is unfinished business as well. Oh, speaking of which, we just did Friday Night Love Tarot, and the title was Unfinished Business. So that could be where somebody needs to kind of pay attention over there. Yeah, unfinished business, feeling rejected, but really, truly wanting to be in this relationship. One relationship this person wants, one, one they don't. I feel like the one they want to be in is the one they have the children with. They, if they don't have children with the other one, yeah, see, divine feminine in the reverse. They don't really want to be with that person. So the one they have the children with is where they want to be. That's interesting. I just heard, I don't know, maybe they're talking about Whitney Houston. I don't know. I heard Whitney. It's kind of crazy. Like, but it's, there's, and then I'm seeing fourth house energy. It's women and children, but it's the root of something. And there's a security issue here as well. Somebody's being used for money and then someone else, the connection is real because there's actually other people involved. There's children involved. That's odd. All right. So with that being said, this person and how they are like thinking about you and what the energy is that they're projecting towards you, their heart space, how much they love you. Do they really love you? Or is it just a bunch of BS? And then their intentions towards you moving forward. Like what can you expect through February? Okay. We also look at your energy towards them to see if it resonates and, and sits right. You know, is that really what you're feeling? If there's any past life energy, that also comes out as well. Um, for the most part, though, past life energy here is that you don't let this person take advantage of you. Your mission in life now is to take charge of this situation. You know, with Mars moving into, um, what is that, Capricorn? With all of this Earth energy here, there's a very powerful need for you to be solid, stable, and secure. And this person is off their rocker if they think that you're going to come back to a relationship that they're just going to try to pretend like they're rejecting anyway. If they're not going to put in the effort and really work on it, they've already had a chance. You might not give them another one. So Vimeo extended link is below. I appreciate you guys joining me. Uh, enjoy your February. Don't forget Friday Night Love Tarot is your weekly. Peace and elbow grease.